guys, Rich Novia here. I'm the owner and CEO of the Rap Lab Nashville. I decided to put some videos together just based on a lot of questions, concerns, and just overall requests we get on a daily basis here at the Rap Lab about vehicle wraps. Uh, our specific company offers commercial wraps, digital printing. We also offer restyling wraps and library packages for race cars. I get tons of requests all the time about pricing, about longevity, colors, all these different things. And so I just saw an opportunity to build a video series based upon vehicle wrap education and about the actual processes. There's a lot of uh, videos out there about how cool some of the wraps can be, how cool the cars are, but a lot of times people just seem to want to know what is a vehicle wrap and also what are the capabilities, how long does it last, how much should it cost, etc. So we're going to start trying to put a video series together um, and it might we might get guest people to come in and different things like that but I wanted to start this one off with um, you know how much does a vehicle wrap cost and why does it cost what it does. Um, in this particular case we're going to talk about restyling wraps and I call them restyling wraps, some people call them color change wraps, some people call them you know body wraps, whatever you're going to call them from whatever re region in the world, United States, etc. wherever you're from uh, and whatever you call them, it's essentially taking a car and turning it into another color with a color you've chosen by. Um, every area, every company charges different. Um, in our area, vehicle wraps can range anywhere from $2,500 all the way up to $10,000. Uh, that's a huge range. A lot of the times the range is dependent on the color, it's dependent on the size of the vehicle. There are so many factors that go into quoting your vehicle wrap project. Um, a lot of times I find myself getting these questions where uh, you know somebody calls up and says hey I wanted to get a quote on wrapping my Honda how much does that cost and I realized not a lot of people know what we need to quote a vehicle wrap so what we need in order to quote a vehicle wrap is I'm gonna need the year the model whether it's a two four door four door uh, SUV is it a pickup truck what is the existing color um, all these factors, you know, what's the trim model? Uh, does it have an aero kit? Is it factory? All these things play a part in how companies quote their vehicle wraps. Um, again, people do do it differently. I'm just going off of how we do it here. Um, typically right now, we wrap anywhere from three to five vehicles a week in color change wrap material. And around the same on busy months in commercial vehicle wraps. Uh, we are a smaller company. Our, we, have, we employ five people. Um, and we're a very boutique operation. I really love what we do. Um, but we also have a little different philosophy. Um, we are organic and we are based on organic growth, but we are right down to the core of color change wraps. I started this business to restyle automobiles. I love exotic cars. I love race cars. I love motorsports. I just love automobiles in general. So. I started this company in order to do that and work on that type of cars. Um, so for us, what it usually entails when we build vehicles and when we wrap vehicles is we tear the whole car down. Um, we take your car, we remove any hardware that is uh, you know, going to hinder the installation process. Um, we try to make sure that we remove lights if we have to, uh, bumpers, mirrors, trim pieces, anything that, you know, to make it look uh, cleaner to make it look more like a paint job. Um, it, it can be difficult and, 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 and when, when quoting people because a lot of people don't understand what goes into a quality wrap like that. Um, I think if you're looking for just your car wrapped almost in a commercial style vehicle wrap, quick and easy and cheap, um, you're probably not going to find that here at the wrap lab which is okay. But we do it how we do it and we do it how we believe that our customers deserve to have it done. So. For us, we actually prep vehicles very similar as if they were going to get painted. Uh, we tape off trim, we remove a lot of the panels when necessary. Um, there are some cars nowadays that we're not having to remove so many panels and sometimes we find it beneficial to not remove bumpers and things because the, the gaps, the bumper gaps are so tight that when you actually roll the film in they can create friction. So sometimes, it, and, and that's where the, the, the years of experience and knowledge come in. So when looking for a vehicle wrap company, I, I would try to qualify on their qualify the company on their qualifications as an overall company. How long they've been doing it for? What's their experience level? 
Um, what materials that they use? What is their prep? Vehicle wrap prep is probably the single most important step and many people fail in the cleanliness area. Uh, a lot of wraps fail due to lack of cleanliness and, and lack of cleaning and proper cleaning. Um, for us, we have a multiple stage step process. I think a lot of companies should have that. Uh, if a com vehicle comes in very dirty, we will uh, pressure wash it outside, use a foam cannon with some solutions from companies like Chemical Guys. We use a lot of their products. Um, and then from there, we take it inside and we would clay bar your vehicle. Um, today, we are actually uh, using you know, a, a buffer. We were actually just you know, kind of polishing out some imperfections with a buffer on a Jaguar that we're color changing to 3M uh, satin dark gray. So to me, I think those extra steps are what create a really good end result. And that's what I'm, I'm, I'm after for our clients. Um, and that's what you should be looking for in a company who does this stuff. You should be looking at great prep work. Is their workspace clean? Um, are they certified? Certifications, I think, are, are a, a, a great way to show that you've taken the time to invest in yourself and in your profession. Um, I personally am an Avery certified wrap installer and uh, I'm looking forward to doing other certifications. I also have employees who are getting certified and doing different things. So, and I've also been at it for many, many years. Um, I think that means a lot. I think there's a lot of people doing it out of the garage. There's a lot of people who are gonna, friends are gonna hook friends up and that's okay, that's great. But we run a very professional business. I think you should find a company, depending on your vehicle, and everybody should, on a very, very, very professional business. Um, and I think that's the way to, to qualify whether or not they're gonna take a razor blade to your car and you're comfortable with it or not. Uh, remember, your vehicle wrap in the end has to come off. And it has to look good when it comes off. The paint has to be in great condition. You want to make sure you don't have razor marks. Uh, is your company that you're working with, are they using knifeless tape? Are they using proper installation techniques? Are they post heating? Are they pre stretching? You know, there's all these different things. And are they doing the bumpers correctly? Are they, you know, are they trying to be heroes in one piece and certain things when you know you should be putting an inlay in here? Sometimes it's vinyl. People have to remember vinyl is a sticker. And although you can make it look, you know, almost like paint, and there's a lot of the hashtags is, you know, uh, rest in peace paint, you know, things like that. People are saying, man, it's, you know, paint's dead, paint is over, you're not going to, and quite frankly, it, it's, it's very close. It's very close. Um, there's a standard of acceptability and, and we strive for perfection. Different shops are going to find different things. So I would say if you're looking at commercial vehicle wraps right now, um, find a company that specializes in wraps and, and you might find a sign company can do your, your plumbing van very, very well. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you find that you have an Aston Martin or you have a Porsche or you have, you know, even a, a, a Toyota or an SUV or something and you're looking to do a color change, you know, sometimes you might want to find that specific niche company. Or even if it is a sign company, make sure that they have experience in that. A lot of, there is a, there is a definitive difference between being able to wrap a van, a commercial vehicle, and being able to take a razor blade and tools to your $100,000 sports car. And that is really the, the truth behind vehicle wraps. You know, you don't know who is doing this stuff. You know, who, who is truly installing these things? What is going on? So um, for me, I think the education behind it is, is imperative to the industry growth in general. Um, and I think that when you look at somebody and they say, sure, I'll, I'll wrap your car for $1,000. Um, be careful what you're getting. If you will go ahead, you might get a great result and that's fantastic and you probably got a good deal. Um, but you know, if you come to the wrap lab here, we're probably gonna tell you it's gonna be anywhere from 2,500 to $4,000 for a regular, whether it's matte, satin, gloss, or you know, flip, color, change kind of wrap. And then chrome wraps can be anywhere from five to $10,000, depending on complexity. Um, you have your brushed aluminum wraps, you have your carbon fiber vinyls, all these things play a part. But that's who we are from the wrap lab, and I think our services you know, warrant what we charge for them. Um, a company like ourselves, and many companies who do this, whether they have in-house techs or they pull people in, um, we actually have techs that come in and they're certified you know, mechanics and they, they work on cars all day and they do the teardown and they also do the reassembly. So we know it's done by professionals. Sure, that costs more money, 
but you can also sleep at night knowing that you know if we took your mirrors off and we took vents and different things off your car if the clips aren't broken the screws aren't missing you know we're not just slapping this thing together it's going back to together the way the factory does it um, i've had many experiences where we've done a lot of vehicle wraps for local high-end dealerships on you know bentley's ferraris lamborghinis maseratis and we we, we dealt with those kind of vehicles and you find that once you kind of learned about those vehicles other vehicles become very similar and you you actually execute the same practices so what i love about our company is that if you came in with a honda civic you would get the same treatment and the same service as you would get if you came in with a bentley and i think that's the philosophy of the rap lab i think that's the kind of philosophy you should find in a rap company when you're searching for somebody and who's going to work on your car you've paid thousands and thousands of dollars you know you've paid well over your year's salary maybe more maybe less whatever but you've paid a very very pretty penny for your vehicle and if you're looking at getting it wrapped you probably have a lot of pride in it you probably enjoy it and you really care about it so find the right company find the right people to work with uh, find somebody who has a warranty find somebody who stands behind their work um, find somebody who has passion for what they do and they want to work with you um, I think those are the checklists, so we should run it down real quick. I'll run this down one last time, and I, I won't keep you guys too much longer, but <coughs> excuse me, I have a cough. Um, I'll tell you this. Here's the last things. Find a company that is reputable. Uh, find a company who is trained. Find a company that has a good reputation. Find someone who knows what they're doing. Uh, make sure that they're using the proper techniques, tools, such as tough tools for gaskets. They're using knifeless tape as often as possible, and that's not to touch the, the car with a razor blade. Make sure that they're using premium materials. Um, cast materials are key when doing a color change for longevity. Make sure these people have some sort of training or certification or years and years of experience. And make sure that they have a warranty and they stand behind their work. Those, to me, are the number one factors behind a great vehicle wrap. And those are, those are, those are the, the, the pillars of what we stand on and what a lot of companies stand on out there. There are great, fantastic companies, companies that way exceed the expectations of, of, of even my business. There are companies out there why strive to build our business to be like. And, and I think it's fantastic the industry is growing. So know what you're getting into and make sure that sometimes the price dictates what you get back. You know, you might find the cheaper person and they might do a great job and that's where they value their services. And then you might find the super expensive company and that's what you, they have services. But know the difference you're gonna get. You know, from us when somebody says, yeah, we'll wrap, you know, we'll wrap your Porsche for $4,000 you know, and it's a full library package. Know that your car's gonna be probably in very many pieces in our shop. It's gonna be under an IR heater. It's gonna be meticulously installed with the best of our abilities. So find somebody who has passion in it and I guarantee you'll get a great result regardless of who you choose. Feel free to check out our website, www.theraplabnashville.com. Thank you guys for watching this video and I look forward to more videos and trying to educate people more on the actual world of rap and what we can do. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.